and contaminate the experiment. I hope that was clear. I don't really know. I'm for the sake of science. Caddy wampus right now. Hey everyone. Okay, so today I'm gonna do kind of like a first impressions video of the new Tarte High Performance Naturals Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation. It's a powder foundation. The kindly people of Tarte asked me in an email if they could send this to me. And I was like, yeah, sure. Foundations are like completely perfect for first impression videos. I got mine in light medium beige and it came with a brush and they call it the air buki isn't that adorable it's just like a kabuki foundation brush that is like i don't know specially made to go with this foundation which is cool they look like this i've had them for a couple of weeks but the reason why i haven't tried them yet is because i have been using this stuff on my skin that dries out my skin a lot and powder foundation on dry skin it don't work period. Like if you have dry skin or if you have patches of dry skin or combination with dry or something like that, you know it just doesn't look pretty. It clings, it like brings it out even more and it's not nice. Um, so I wanted to kind of like return to normalcy before I tried this out to give it a real like fair chance. I'm not sure if you noticed in my three minute makeup challenge video, I used a mineral powder foundation um, because it's like it's like my go-to fast foundation. You know, in my mind, in my experience with powder foundations, they are not like the most perfect, but they are fast. And so that's why I was definitely interested in trying this out. And it says it's formulated without parabens, mineral oil, phylates, triclosan, sodium, laurel sulfate, and synthetic fragrance. If nothing else, I'm so anti-fragrance in makeup. And if you're making a product that stinks, just figure it out. Make it not stink, but don't put perfume in it because that's weird and wrong. Wrong. <laughs> Offers a weightless coverage that lasts while the uh, skin intuitive formula delivers a flawless natural finish without settling into fine lines and wrinkles. That's one thing that I'm worried about. I do have like smile lines and like lines on my forehead and stuff like that. And like, you know, sometimes powder, if you like pack it on, it can get weird in those places. The directions are to gently push the Airbuki Bamboo Powder Foundation brush into the mesh shifter. No shaking necessary. Tap away the excess and then buff the moisture rich powder. Oxymoron maybe? We, we shall see. Onto the skin in circular motions until desired coverage is achieved. I think this brush is really adorable. It's like a squatty fat man. I don't know why I think like that but it's so tiny and it's like got little short hair. It is already 145 in my life today. It's the weekend so I'm getting away with it. So I'm not really getting like a full day out of this foundation although I am going to check in with you a few times through the day. Um, I am going to wear it tomorrow also as a part of this review and check in with you again tomorrow to let you know how it sustained like a full real work day. Um, and so I think that will really like round out the review and we can really like see what it's all about. Like what they say, like you can never redo a first impression with something like whenever you first meet someone, like shake their hand or whatever. But I mean, with makeup, it's like, you know, the first day or the first like real day or whatever. So I'm trying to like make it a full meaningful thing and show you two days basically. I hope you appreciate this. I don't have a primer or anything, but I do have the Cetaphil Oil Control Moisturizer with SPF 30. The packaging is cool, but it's also weird because it's got this hole right here and it's almost like fishnet pantyhose right here. It's got like a stopper here that goes like right over it. So I feel like it's a more contained, less mess powder foundation, which is kind of a problem with powder foundation, at least for me, because I'm messy. Let's get started. I'm just pushing it in. There we go, I've got some on my brush. I feel like I have to hold my breath when I'm using this, it's really weird. I'm like, oh, can't talk. Doing circular motions kind of makes me feel like I'm like exfoliating my skin, which is something I don't really like. Obviously, I would not recommend a powder foundation pretty much for anybody that has dry skin. Just saying, I mean, I know this said it was like moisture rich, but Honestly, that's crazy to me. It kind of blows my mind and I, and I have a hard time believing that, but we shall see how it works. I don't know. I'm not going to be using concealer, so I really am trying to go over the redness and really like see how much coverage I can get from it. 
All right, so I do think the color is nice for me. Um, I did use a little self-tanner last night, so I might be a little darker on the body. But generally, I like to, you know, bump up everything with like bronzer and everything which I will still do and I know I like literally just said I wasn't going to use concealer but I am going to use my uh, Bare Minerals Summer Bisque kind of like concealer stuff around my eyes just because it didn't really brighten it up the way that I need it to be brightened up and uh, one other thing that I noticed is a spot that I've gotten because I have subacute cutaneous lupus and it's summer and I've been outside more than I should and so I need to uh, you know maybe go over that with that same concealer since it's kind of in this little VI area anyway it did not cover up all the redness around my nose I have a lot of redness around my nose because I'm a girl and it's hormonal I believe other than that I do kind of like the coverage we shall see if it gets weird or heavy I don't feel like it's like moisturizing but I don't feel like it's dry either which is a good thing in my book generally I think it's good it's nice right I like it <laughs> All right, so I'm done with my full face. I kind of just did something easy with the eyes. Hopefully that picture explains all of the products that I used and everything. It's Sunday, I don't really care, even though it totally looks like I care. That's just how I am, you know me. You know me. Anyway, I just wanted to show you like the whole look together with like bronzer and everything. Bronzer is very important to me. I did add the little like uh, powder concealer kind of thing to brighten up my under eye which made me feel a lot better. I did go over the bridge of my nose where there was some remaining redness. I did go a little bit over my little spot that was showing through. Um, I feel like it looks really good. There are things showing through. This is not a full coverage thing um, but I kind of think that's a really good thing. Um, a powder foundation that is like full full coverage in my opinion from what I've experienced. It's already 2.30. Um, there's a true life marathon. I love true life. You don't even understand. I just found a YouTube channel I really, really like. And so I've been like binging out on that. Um, I just have to do like errands -y kind of things. It's really overcast outside. So hopefully I'll be able to like film in the car and stuff like that. And it turns out well and you can see what's going on. Um, I just have to like do my nails because my nails look like trash. And I need to go to my parents' house to pick up some stuff. So that's going to be cool. Officially starting the clock at like 2, and so we're going to count the hours that way. And yeah, I'm going to check back in with you later. Bye! Hey guys, I'm back. Um, It is uh, 6.10 right now. I still haven't left. I know, my life is stupid. Like, I need to get out of the house, but it's like I keep just puttering around and I was editing a video and I did my nail. I wanted to check in right before I left just because, you know, I've got my whole setup here. I'm feeling really shiny and so that's pretty much like four hours and honestly it's not really really shiny but like I'm trying not to touch my face because I don't want to break it down and contaminate the experiment. I usually need to use a shine sheet after like, I don't know, four or five hours you know regularly so I haven't used one but if it starts to get really bad before the night is over I will use one um, just because I want to like see how it holds up overall it looks pretty good though and I don't think it's like switched colors on me or anything so yeah I'm just about to get on the road I think I will probably do one more check-in uh, before the night is over so see you later bye okay unfortunately I feel as though I've waited too late and the Sun is pretty much down and I'm not sure if you can see anything but it's about 8 20 and it still feels pretty tacky. I never used an oil sheet. I was trying to avoid it and I haven't looked at it close in the mirror but like it's even more like oily around my nose so I know if I used a shine sheet it would just like take it away. Um, so maybe what could help here is like a primer or something like that. I am still going to wear it tomorrow and I'm kind of just going to use the same products as I use today and I'm not going to use the concealer or the primer or anything like that um, just to test it in like a real world kind of situation where it's not a lazy Sunday or whatever and I will definitely make another clip tomorrow to update you with how it performs and probably like my final verdict or whatever. So, all right, um, thanks for watching this clip and I'll see you tomorrow, bye. Hey guys, okay, so it's day two and it's about 3.30 and right now I'm at the end of my very, very late lunch and I need to go back, but I wanted to update you really quickly. 
airbrush foundation and it's occurring to me that that's a really weird name for it I'm sure it's not weird to anybody else I'm wearing the foundation again today and I put it on at about I don't know like eight ish so it's been a long time so I put it on a lot earlier today and I am feeling kind of oily and yesterday I never like got down to it and just used a shine sheet but today I'm gonna cuz it's like I don't know it's hot outside and for some reason like when my face starts feeling oily I just like I don't know it feels like oppressive to me so like I'm all about the shine sheet I'm really seeing their point on calling it like a moisture powder or whatever it's matte but it's not like super mattifying you know you've still got like life in your skin so that's a good thing so I just got done using my blotting sheet and I am seeing a lot of the redness I have uncovered. It happens a lot whenever you use a blotting sheet you'll have to do a touch up with some kind of powder or something like that. Um, I don't know if it's appropriate to go back in with more of the powder foundation just because that could be a bit much but it could really use some more coverage so I might do that. I think I'm gonna do it just a little bit just to see. Don't freak out for the sake of science. Maybe not science. <laughs> really just my nose and my chin because that's where it got really oily but I mean I guess you know that's just my skin so yours could react a totally different way all right wow so touching up with it actually did work I tried to go like kind of light-handed so it wouldn't like get weird and cakey or whatever and I, I think it looks okay I don't know I think I will really be able to tell if it's too much once I get out into the sun um but it's okay I mean it kind of saved me a little bit not saved me I can always deal with a little redness but saved me pretty much so yeah that's it for now and um hopefully after work I'll be able to check in with you again and tell you how day two was so um see you in a minute bye hey okay I'm back it is after work time um I just got home I like dashed in because I was scared that I wouldn't have enough light and then I would look weird and then you wouldn't be able to tell anything. I don't know. I didn't want that. It is about 6.45 and I have a string that's freaking me out. Not an extra long art pit hair. Don't worry. I'm still feeling good about it. I do feel like I could go for another shine sheet right now, but I don't really need it. Like I, I did that at like three o'clock or something. Last time I did my clip, I don't remember what time it was. So stressed out at work today. That's besides the point. Anyway, um, I feel pretty good about it. And honestly, whenever I went outside after I like touched up the powder, I was totally ready to look at my face and be like, why did I do that? Like, you know, sometimes like midday, you're looking at your makeup and it starts to look a little like jacked up. Typically you can't just like throw on more foundation or at least I would never do that. I would never do that with like liquid foundation that I already like covered with a powder but since I didn't have anything else on my face besides like bronzer and the powder foundation and like blush I felt fine with just adding some more powder. It did not make it look too heavy which was really my main concern with this powder foundation that it would look too heavy because it does say it's a full coverage which I don't think it's a full full coverage but at the same time I did use a light hand because I was a little worried about that. Also I just have like a few spots here and there like nothing super major so the whole full coverage thing might not have been tested as well as it could have been on someone else's skin. Overall I can say that I will continue to use this product. I don't think that it's going to become like my go-to holy grail or anything like that because I don't know usually I use powder foundation when I'm more like in a hurry. Maybe I would use this whenever I wanted to have a little bit more like you know non showgirl drag queen kind of face which is you know rarely definitely suggest this to like somebody that's like in high school I mean I didn't wear foundation in high school but I know that a lot of people did and do and whatever because it's quick it's easy and it's like not so many steps like you can just buff it on with the brush and you're good to go um, for my skin I did need to blot but I was also able to reapply in the places where I needed it so that was really nice I, I think that's a really good option and it's not just super matte and dry looking like I don't think it dried out my skin you could have a different reaction I don't know but if you're super into powder foundation I would definitely say 
try it out if you don't have an absolute favorite and you are all about the powder foundation. Definitely a good option. By the way, sorry, I feel like I look really scraggly right now, but I literally just raced in the door because I was like, must make another clip. That's how I live. Just run around thinking about YouTube. Anyway, um, that's it for me. I hope you guys got something out of this review. But if you have any other questions or comments or whatever, you know what to do. You can comment down below if you like this video or if it helped you or whatever. You can thumbs up. That always helps and makes me happy. You can also hit me up on Facebook or Twitter, or Instagram or Tumblr. It's Leanne Says Everyone. Also, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But if you have, thank you so much. I really appreciate you and love you for coming back again and again. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone! Like one of those like Fisher Price, those little peoples, but this one has like a little short haircut. Now, because that's always interesting. Oh, hello. YouTube video. Just kidding, that was not funny. There's no time passed in the video, but lots of times in my life. I don't Twilight Zone. Said this before, and unfortunately it's still true that I don't exercise. And it's not that like I hate exercising. I mean I do, but I just I just don't. I don't exercise. I don't do anything like honestly. I'm such a nerd 